Hello, 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 good morning. I saw an article on the BBC about how C-sections are affecting evolution, and it really confused me, so I talked to one of my astronomy teachers about it, and he explained it to me because he knows everything about science. C-sections are a type of birthing where the baby cannot go through vaginally, so the baby comes out through cutty open tummy procedures. And obviously because of advancement in modern medicine and stuff, C-sections are pretty much available as a always an option, I hope. I, I, I thought that was the, the thing. They're always available if you need them in the birthing process. But backtrack a couple of hundred years ago, there was no C-sections. Even like probably a hundred years ago. What year is it? 2016? In 1990? In 1916, there were probably no C-sections. Like, the C-sections we have now. I really hope if someone was performing C-sections in 1916 that they probably knew what they were doing. Uh, anyway, the way that these having C-sections available is affecting our evolution is because a lot of the times women who have C-sections, or a good amount of the time women who have C-sections, have smaller pelvises. And since the mom has a smaller pelvis, the child that they are birthing will probably, most likely, or there is a good chance, or some chance, that their child will have a small pelvis as well. And because of that, the child, when has kid birth, does the thing. When they do the thing, the thing, the birth, the birth thing, they will have a small pelvis and it will be difficult and they might need a C-section too. But if we were back in 1916, 100 years ago, these people with small pelvises would die. But now that we have these C-sections, these people with smaller pelvises are living and breathing and playing sports and watching AFC Wimbledon win their matches. Good luck on Saturday, AFC. And so basically, it is affecting us because we can now pass on this small pelvic trait, which will cause more C-sections and stuff. It's not a bad thing. I don't think. I don't think it really affects a lot of us except C-sections are kind of scary. So basically what I'm saying is that C-sections are affecting evolution because people with the undesirable trait... I don't know if small pelvises are undesirable. I mean, I think that's up to you. But now that we have these C-sections, people with small pelvises are passing on their small pelvis genes and their kids are going to have small pelvises because they are able to live because we have C-sections. It's bedtime now and here's a little confession. I made this video because I thought when they said that it was affecting evolution that it meant that it was changing women's genes to get a C-section and I thought it was bullshit. And I was like, what the fuck, how does that even work? And now we're here. And now I understand. Good night.